Hello over now there on the internet, I am Jack of All Trades and we are here for Ahsoka episode 7. This is the penultimate episode, we've only got one to go after this. So we're going to start tying up plot threads, we're going to start resolving character arcs, we're going to start pulling everything together now. We got a good amount of Thrawn last episode, so I don't... I need that quantity of Thrawn screen time to remain roughly the same. We just got Ezra back. And I need that, I think that kind of needs to be one of the big focuses here is Ezra and Sabine being reunited, because last episode, we got it, but it was brief. It was short. Ezra seems willing to tell Sabine everything. Sabine is keeping something still close to the chest. So let's get them interacting. Uh, yeah. What's up with the night troopers? Uh, who, who or what is calling Balin to this place. A, a few other questions, but we've got two episodes to go. We can handle those. My, my biggest want is more Ezra. Give, give, give us Ezra seeing his friends again. Three, two, one, play. Thrawn, depending on how much of the uh, novel is canon still, Thrawn has had a few interactions with her former master. That that could prove interesting. Give us some scenes like Maul uh, confronting Ahsoka with the knowledge he possessed of her leaving that he got from Jesse. It's a little bit, a little bit of that. I don't believe the two of them have ever actually met. Coruscant. <laughs> she had a smile on her face there. At least two. I need to believe anything. Morgan Ezra is leading a coordinated effort by the Imperial Remnant. Objection! Hu Yang got a scan of their ship. If he passed that along to you before you left, you... <laughs> there is no proof of any coordination between the scattered and dwindling number of Imperial forces. What about the conflict on Mandalore? Hey, Carson. I love that in the subtitle it just said droid rather than identifying right off the bat. On the music. Hell yeah. Preposterous. The court cannot admit evidence of this kind from a mere droid. <laughs> I'm glad that there were consequences to Hera disobeying orders. Leia stepping in is a fun way to get around them. Dreams and madness. Okay. Training. Oh, I like the outfit. Got the white over top. Oh. Oh. Come on. First mention of Ventress in live action? That makes you think that. According to my instruments, their speed is decreasing. Hmm. So it's not just a sudden stop out of hyperspace, they slow down. I wonder if that's the difference between them and the um, Eye of Scion suddenly. It just breaking out of hyperspace, and there's all the lightning and energy crackling behind it. Versus the Pergil, who know how to navigate the universe like so, without damaging things. As much as I'd love for them to go somewhere else. <laughs> he did! <laughs> I know you do. 
Yeah, it'd be great for them to end up in the wrong place. To emphasize how risky of a decision this was. Are, but the whales aren't. Damn. Ooh! Mines? That's a- that's a lot! Oh, they lock on? Yeah, they're just dipping out. <laughs> That's just you. I like the I like the idea of this Imperial minefield. Seems like it'd be a nightmare to set up, but I like it. I mean, conceivably, you'd have droids do it or something. And with the whales gone. Unless they're going to come back, the Eye of Sion is your only way back to the galaxy. Okay. The master was General Anakin Skywalker. Yes. The birth part of Rome to the king. The red number in which direction to Okay. So yeah, Thrawn being familiar with General Anakin Skywalker. Yep, yep. He, do, uh, he did also know Vader, did... I forget if he knew that they were one and the same or not. Or at minimum, uh, at minimum I imagine he probably had his own theory. <laughs> or his, his, his suspicions. I would have liked to have seen a lot of that on screen, as you're being told about this. That that moment just sold me on it. This this is absolutely Ezra. That that just moment between the two of them there, brilliant. No, it's as strong as Rey and Kylo's. And that, that, that was a whole, like, Force Dyad thing they added in the last movie. No way. You know, I, I could believe Ahsoka perhaps being that talented, that strong, and the Force to be able to do it one way, perhaps? But I, do, I don't think Sabine could reach out in the same way. So curious about being one. Which I believe. And I like him sending Shin. You do this, you take your place. This is what you want to do. It's not what I want to do. I'm I'm gonna do my own thing. Here's a parting lesson. I I like that. Aww. <laughs> he hasn't just dipped out. Oh, yeah. 
Sure. Oh, give Ez give Ezra his saber back. He's probably a bit out of practice, but come on. But narratively, Sabine getting her a rematch with Shen again. Nice. Ooh. What's Ezra gonna do then? Ooh. Okay. I'm very excited. Oh. <laughs> I like it because, yeah, for the past decade, he hasn't had a lightsaber. So I, 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 I accept him being out of practice with it, but he's found some other ways to, to fight and to protect. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. His reaction time's a bit slow. He's fighting unarmed against a lightsaber. And, like, blocking and shit. Sabine's in the field now with hers. Yeah! Oh my god. There was almost like a divot in the blade there when he did that. I do like in this story, there are no Jedi. It's all, it's all very... Uh, it's all very non-traditional, unconventional Jedi. There's whatever Balin is, whatever Shin is, which is separate from what Balin is. There's Ahsoka, the whole, I am no Jedi. There's Sabine, and then there's Ezra now as well. Took his helmet. Again, with people fighting Shin without even drawing their blades. <laughs> Aww. That's do I, buddy. I wouldn't mind post this show Ahsoka trying to train Shin over Sabine. Oh, and he's taller than her now. Oh wow! Hey Ezra, if you have any other questions about Kanan. His master before him, their master before her. Who, who yeah, going to be a good source for that info? That wasn't... That was the end of the episode? That, f that felt really short. What was the runtime on that? No, 39 minutes. That was the same length. Huh. That, that felt really short. Huh. But there's only one episode left. Oh god. I'm... 
I'm worried because again, the, tr the, tr the tr it's a different creative team and everything involved. But the majority, as I said last week with the Disney Plus shows, the majority of them don't manage to stick the landing because they end up trying to do too much in the finale. I hope with this one uh, that we'll be fine on that front because this is, next week is going to be the last episode of this show, but we know there's more of the story to come. We know Filoni is building towards a movie. Uh, eventually, that's going to sort of draw everything from this time period together. The post OG, but pre prequel, uh, pre sequels era. Presumably, with Thrawn as the big bad and all that, uh, we can make all our guesses about that as much as we like. But one episode to go. They need to leave it off in a satisfying place for this story. You can leave us wanting more, but that, 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 that's fine. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm worried. Not as much ground was covered in this episode as I would have liked. I think. But I enjoyed it. Just, just as the rest of the season, I, I greatly enjoyed this episode. Let's just see... Here we go next week for the Ahsoka finale. Yikes. Again, I've been Jack of All Trades. Thanks for watching, and until next week, bye.